Pierre Poilievre takes aim at the liberal government's economic policies, arguing that the high taxes levied on professionals and entrepreneurs are dragging the economy down. He points to a slew of negative consequences, slower economic growth, soaring housing costs, and a growing reliance on food banks. Nine years ago, the Prime Minister promised that taxing and spending more would make everything fair. Since then, Canada's had the worst growth in the G7, the worst in Canada's history since the, the Great Depression. Housing costs have doubled, rising faster than any other G7 country. So 76% of youth believe they'll never be able to afford a home. One in 10 people are at a fee, food, eating at food banks in Toronto, where there are 256 homeless encampments. Haven't the Liberals learned? The taxing away doctors, taxing away home builders, taxing away the entrepreneurs who, who make paychecks is economic wackoness. A teacher or a welder should not pay tax at a higher rate than a multimillionaire. But they just couldn't help themselves. At the end of the day, the Conservatives are always on the side of those at the very top and always against working people. That's what we saw yesterday. He champions economic freedom asserting that lower taxes spur growth by enabling entrepreneurs and professionals to reinvest in their businesses and communities. Poilievre's critique of high taxes on doctors, home builders, and entrepreneurs aligns with his belief that excessive taxation stifles innovation and hampers economic progress. He underscores Canada's lagging economic growth compared to other G7 nations as evidence that the Liberal government's strategy has faltered. Bolstering the argument that economic prosperity stems from low taxes and minimal government intervention. Labeling the current economic approach as economic wackiness, Poilievre highlights its tangible effects. Rising housing costs and increased dependence on food banks. He urges the public to assess policies based on their real-world impacts emphasizing the practical consequences for everyday Canadians. The issues of high housing costs and food insecurity that Poilievre raises echo the public's economic anxieties, suggesting that current policies fail to address the needs of ordinary citizens.